I'm literally creating an army of AI agents to do as many things in my business as possible. And it is really freaking cool. I'm using this new AI tool that can replace many things that you might have a team doing, thus saving me a ton of time and money each month. Cassidy AI calls agents or GPTs assistants. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create your own army of agents so that you don't have to work in your business either. The first job I want done in my business is customer service support because I don't wanna be spending a whole bunch of time answering all the emails myself. So that's the first AI agent that I'm going to build. Now, a huge reason why I like building my assistants in Cassidy as opposed to say building a GPT inside a ChatGPT Pro, I have access to all of the top AI models to use in my assistant. So I could build an assistant that's based on Claude 3 Opus or ChatGPT 4 or Gemini 1.5. And when you build a GPT in ChatGPT, you only have access to either either GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 Turbo. So since I'm focusing on customer service for this first assistant, I wanna build one that can write email responses to the customer service emails that we're getting. And for me, the best model to use to do that is Claude 3 Opus. So the first thing that you're gonna notice inside of Cassidy is this left-hand navigation here. It has chats at the top, automation, so workflows, and then you can create your knowledge base. It also has a really cool Chrome extension. I use it with Arc and it's amazing. I'll show you that in just a minute. So as you go to build an assistant, you likely don't have any favorites here because you're just starting from scratch. So you want to click on the create new assistant button. You're going to see custom setup. So this is where you're going to, you can start from scratch or they have a whole bunch of templates already done for you that you can customize and personalize uh, based on whatever information that you want to put in there. So let's just do that. And they have a customer service assistant already built. So I'm just going to click on that. Now it's going to ask me a whole bunch of questions that if I want to answer these questions, this is going to allow me to further personalize the assistant as it gets built. So you can see here, what are the common types of customer inquiries or support tickets? Are there any specific AI technologies? These are asking me questions based on the information that it already knows about my business. Obviously, these would be different questions for you and your business. So I'm going to go through and and answer these questions real quick. Okay, so I've just filled out as many questions as I really wanted to. So the next step in the creation process, it's asking you, is this a question and answer assistant? Meaning, are you going to wanna ask questions to your knowledge base? So to your FAQs, your SOPs, your content, et cetera. And since this is a customer service assistant or an agent, yes, I do want it to be referencing a knowledge base. So I'm gonna click on on. So now I just select which knowledge base or what files and folders that I want this agent or this assistant to be referencing when I ask a question. So I can just say this one, click continue. So here is all the information that Cassidy has built for you as you answered those questions. And it's built a prompt right here for you. All you have to do is click on finish and create. So you're done. You've just created the assistant. And so I can click on that. And here is my assistant. Now, the way that this works is if you get questions or your customer service person gets questions and you don't quite know the answer to it maybe, or your customer service person doesn't quite know the answer, type that question right in where it says type your message here, and then it will answer the question for you based on your knowledge base. So it's super, super simple. So let's go back to this first screen. Let's say I didn't for some reason want to use that pre-made customer service template. I can click on create new assistant, custom setup. So this is essentially, you can just type out what you want the goal of your assistant to be. So I could say a customer service assistant for my business. This assistant will be answering questions that the business gets from our customers about X, Y, and Z. And then I can literally click continue. And again, it'll walk you through the exact same steps asking you answers to those questions. Or if you don't want to do the tailored creation here, you can start from scratch and build it entirely yourself. So again, this is where you can select AI model that you want to use. So for this one here, I would use Claude 3 Opus. 
And then the assistant instructions, this is where you write your prompt that you want to use for answering customer service emails. You can add your brand voice right here. So it's answering all of the emails in your brand voice. And then this is where you can enable that knowledge base in that it's a Q&A assistant. Now you'll notice over here in the left-hand column that you'll see knowledge base. This is where you can connect Cassidy to any number of tools that you use, Google Docs, uh, Notion, Microsoft SharePoint, et cetera, et cetera. And it's super, super easy to use. The other really cool thing that you can use Cassidy for in conjunction with the assistant that you've just built in there for customer service, you can be in your email and use the Chrome extension. So let's just say that I've opened this email up. I can click on the Chrome extension. You'll see the assistant that I've just created, the customer service assistant. I can copy or I can highlight the text from the email. It brings it into the Chrome extension here. It says, what do you want to do with this text? And so I can say, please answer this question. And then it's going to reference the knowledge base in order to answer this question. So as you can see here, whether it's the Cassidy extension in conjunction with the AI agent that you've just built for customer service, or just using the assistant inside of the tool, in a matter of minutes, you created something that's going to help you going forward and save you a ton of time and potentially money as you go forward. Okay, now let's add another agent to our army. Let's build an email marketing assistant that can write emails for us in our own voice. And this might be one single email or it can write an entire email sequence. For this assistant, I'm going to build it from scratch and program it, if you will, with a prompt that I'm gonna create. So let's first create the prompt for this assistant. And I've actually built a prompt engineering assistant, as I call it. So I've created an assistant that all I have to do is just describe what I want to do. It will write the prompt for me. And I've separated it out. I've created two assistants. I've created one assistant for to write prompts for Claude 3 Opus. And also because it's a little bit different in how you structure your prompts, I've created an assistant for ChatGPT4 Turbo. All I have to do is describe what I want to do right here and it will write the prompt for me. And then I can kick it over to the editor here, do any kind of edits that I want to make to the prompt. Now I've already created the prompt. So let's go back and start actually building this assistant. And I'm going to do a custom setup. I'm going to do a blank assistant right here. And I'm going to change this to Opus. And I'm going to paste in the prompt that I've already created for this email writing assistant. Okay. So I've added my prompt in here to the assistant instructions. I would change this prompt slightly to put some markdown header sections like H2 sections just to clean it up a little bit, but it's good. Also, I've given the assistant a name. So let's go ahead and open this up. The first thing it's going to do is ask me if I want to write a single email or an entire email sequence. So I'm just going to say, hi. And it says, hello, I'm happy to help you write an email or email series for your online business to get started. Could you please let me know if you need a single email or an entire email sequence? This will help me gather the right information from you. So let's just say single email. So as you can see here, after I put single email in here, it asked me a series of questions that it needs to know about in order to write that email for me. And I put this into the prompt. So as you can see here, in order to write a great single email that will resonate, blah, 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 please provide the following information and then ask a series of questions. So, so you just answer each of these questions and then it will write the email for you. And then once it's written the email, if I like the email, great, I can just tweak some things or add a story to it or what have you, or I can give it feedback right here to make certain changes and it will do it right in here. I'm able to just write entire email sequences in a matter of a few steps once I've created this email marketing agent. Also in the prompt, I'm having it write an entire email sequence. It asked me similar questions, but a few more questions to write an entire email sequence. I've also told it in the prompt to stop at the end of each email that it has written to ask me for feedback and approval. I've told it not to move forward to the next email until it has been given approval to do so. So that way it doesn't write seven emails for you all at the same time when you're like, oh, these aren't very good. You're just doing it one at a time and it's so much more efficient doing it that way and you're gonna get far better results, honestly, in a shorter amount of time. Okay, so we've created two agents so far or assistants. We've created the customer service assistant. We've created the email
email marketing assistant to write emails for us. Now let's add another agent to our army. Let's create a content repurposing agent where you take a primary piece of content that you should be creating each week in your business, like email newsletter, a YouTube video. And then I want to leverage that content across other social media platforms. So again, let's go back into Cassidy and create this assistant. So I'm going to click the create new assistant button. And again, you've got custom setup or use a starting point. Now, just so you know, they do have a social media assistant template already built and it is called social media assistant. Again, you click on it. It's just going to ask you several questions to personalize the assistant even more. So again, you go through, answer these questions, click continue. You can add your brand voice to this, et cetera, et cetera. You can even answer more questions that it's giving you to further personalize it. But we're going to build this assistant from scratch. I've already written the prompt. I use my prompt engineering assistant to tell it what I want to accomplish with this task. And it wrote the prompt for me. It's really good. And I'm just going to go through. And again, I'm going to use Claude 3 Opus on this because for the most part, it's creating written content. And if you've seen my other videos, like the one right here, where I talk about the best AI writing tool. Claude 3 Opus for me is the best AI writing tool. So I'm going to select that model to do for this assistant. And I'm just going to call it content repurpose assistant. Again, I'm using assistant and agent, same thing, GPT, all interchangeably in this case here. So I've put my prompt into the instructions area. And again, you can add your brand voice. We don't need to enable a Q&A assistant because we are doing content repurposing with this assistant. So I'm just going to say open a new chat. I've already saved it. And I can just say hi, just to kind of get the ball rolling in the conversation. So again, in my prompt, I've told it to ask me questions to begin this process. As you can see here, hello, to get started, can you please provide me with the content you'd like me to repurpose for various social media channels? So this is where you can put in a transcript of your podcast, or you can put in your blog post or an email newsletter letter or a YouTube video transcript. You just put it right in here and then it will start creating whatever pieces of content that you want that you've put into the prompt. So for example, if you wanted to write you tweet threads or Instagram posts or Facebook posts or LinkedIn articles, whatever it might be, you designate what you want. It'll do it right here in the assistant in a matter of seconds. And content repurposing can be, if you're not using AI for it or an assistant like this, it can be super time consuming. I just broke this work flow down in my AIFI newsletter recently. This assistant right here is going to save me so much time and money because I'm not having to pay a, you know, a social media person or a social media agency to do all this. I've created this assistant and now I can use it going forward and just going to save me a whole bunch of time and money. The other thing I want to show you with this is you'll see workflows right here. So you can come in here and create a workflow based on any of these templates, just like a Assistance. You can start with a template here, all these pre-built templates, or you can build your own workflow that is AI driven. You can add your assistance that you're creating to these different workflows simply by clicking the workflow option and then choosing a specific workflow that you've already created, or you can create a new workflow. There's so many jobs in your business that you can do with this. I just chose three for today, customer service, email marketing, content repair purposing data analysis. So for example, I could take my analytics from my YouTube channel here, feed it into the assistant, and it will tell me what video I should create next. I can create an assistant for creating content. I can create an assistant for onboarding new team members. The list goes on. It's really how much of your business do you want to create AI agents for and delegate this work to, which is going to save you a ton of time and and also money bringing you to the point where you are doing very little work in your business if you want to. So the last thing I want to show you when it comes to assistance here in Cassidy is you can access ChatGPT 
GPT-4, Claude 3 Opus, or Gemini Pro, all from within the assistance section anyway. So you don't have to pay individually for each of these models to access them. I can simply click on Claude 3 Opus, for example. So now it's just like I'm using the Claude website right here within Cassidy. And again, I'm not paying for all the different tools separately. I'm just, you know, paying for Cassidy. All right, hopefully your wheels are turning now. You've gotten some ideas about the types of AI agents or assistants that you can be creating, creating your own personal army of assistants to do a whole bunch of things for you in the business that, again, normally would take a team or team members to be accomplishing. And by creating this army of AI agents, you're just saving a whole bunch of time and money for yourself in your business. Thanks for watching the video today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, let me know in the comments below. Again, link for Cassidy down in the description. I'll see you in the next video.